Bum 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 ba da don 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 So what were the effects of the poisonous fungal parasite of grass on the herbivorous aphids and their parasitic wasp? Harry et al. found that the fungus had little to no effect on the aphid reproduction. In this graph, the open bar shows the average number of aphids produced per female fed on grass without the parasite. The closed bar shows the number of offspring when parents were fed on parasitized grass. Although different, the difference was not significant. However, when you look at the parasitic wasp, there is a dramatic decline in fecundity, or the number of viable offspring produced by the second generation. So in this food chain, the fungus hurts the grass's survival. Not only does it take resources away from the grass in order to grow, it also increases the aphid population by reducing the number of wasps. In summary, remember that in trophic interactions, you can have direct effects like big fish eats little fish, or you can have indirect effects on populations that can either be top-down or bottom-up. This has been a Paper Pushers production.